So guys, now let us start with understanding of the algorithm to construct IPv4 routing table. So to start with, we have a root node of the mtry and the root node initially is empty. It do not have any effective prefix. The prefix LAN is zero and all the pointers of its children are null. Here one represents the node ID. So I have taken a node ID only for the sake of making our discussion a little bit easier so that I can talk about that this node and that node with the help of node ID. Otherwise node ID has nothing to do with the algorithm. It is only for the sake to identify that which node I am talking about. So to start with, let us say that we need to insert a route 1.2.3.4 slash 32. All right. So the very first thing that we need to do is to convert this route into its effective prefix form. So this is the effective prefix for this route. All right. And when we say route, it also means that you are also saying that when this route is used for forwarding the traffic, then which is the next hope to be used? So next hope is some data structure which is in memory somewhere else. All right. And we call the data of this route as that next hope, that is the address of that next hope. So every route is associated with the next hope and the data part is nothing but it is the next hope object which is associated with that route. All right. So the next thing that we need to do is to insert this route into our mtry data structure. So insertion of the route always begins from the root. Now in order to insert a route, we will go into examine the very first bit of the effective prefix bit of a route. In our case, the very first bit is zero. All right. So it means that we need to insert this route as a zeroth child of the root node and it's over. All right. So the new node that is just inserted is has been given a node ID say two. And because the effective prefix of this route started with bit zero, so we will going to insert this particular route as a zeroth child of the root node. So for the node two, this is the effective prefix. This is the prefix len and this is the data part. And obviously all the children of the node two will point to null. And now the zeroth child of the root node points to the node two. All right. So with this, the insertion of this route is successful. Similarly, if you want to insert the route 128234, quickly convert this route into its effective prefix form. So this is the representation of this route. And examine the first bit of this route, which is one. So again, the insertion of the route begins with the root node. So we will going to create a new node with node ID say three and we will make this new node as the oneth child of the root node. And the node number three will going to contain the effective prefix as the following and this is the prefix LAN and this is the data part. All right. So we have successfully insert the route number two in this mtri data structure. So things are pretty much easy and simple. We just scan the first bit of the effective prefix of the new route. And based on that, we insert a new child node as a child of the root node. Similarly, suppose you want to insert the route number three, which is a default route 0, .0, .0, .0, .0, 0, 0. So the effective prefix representation of this route is nothing but all don't cares. All right. So the first bit of this effective prefixes don't care. So it simply means that you need to insert a new child node as a don't care child of the root node. All right. So for the node number four, the effective prefix is the following and the prefix LAN would be 32. Of course, I missed it. And the data part will point to the next hope of this route. So, so far the things are pretty much easy and simple. Now let us talk about insertion of the route 128.2.0.0 slash 16. All right. So now things becomes a little bit non-trivial. So let us convert the route number four into its effective prefix form. 
So you can see this is the route number four, which is converted into its effective prefix form. Now let us start traversing the tree starting from the root node. So the first bit of this new route is one. So we will traverse the child number one of the parent node. So we reach the node number three. And once we descend down the tree, we do the prefix matching. So we will going to match the effective prefix of the node three with the effective prefix of the new route. And we find that the first 16 bits of the node three matches exactly with the first 16 bits of this new route of the effective prefix, of course. So it means that the bit which is highlighted in pink color is the bit at which the mismatch happens. So whenever in the route insertion, a mismatch happens like this case, the node present in the M try at which the mismatch happens will undergo node split. So it means that node, um, node number three will undergo node split procedure. Now what is node split procedure? Let us discuss that. So guys, now let us discuss how node split procedure is executed. The node number three will undergo node split because while traversing down the M try from the root node, at node number three, there occurs a mismatch in the effective prefix of the node three and the effective prefix of the new route. The bit at which the mismatch happens is shown in the pink color. All right. So this is the point at which a node number three will undergo node split. So as a part of node split procedure, the very first thing that we do is that we will going to create two new nodes the node number five and the node number six. The node number five is called a daughter node, whereas node number six is called a niece node. Now node number five is called a daughter node because as a daughter of its parent, the daughter node will borrow the positions of its parent node. Now what are those positions? First of all, the daughter node will borrow the bits from the effective prefix of its parent node. From the point where the mismatch has happened up to the last, all the bits from the effective prefix of the parent node is copied as it is as the daughter node effective prefix. So actually it is not a copy, but it is a transfer. So as we are transferring here 16 bits from the parents node effective prefix to the daughter node effective prefix, therefore parent node effective prefix would be shrinked by 16 bits. So the new prefix length of the parent node would become 16 because the latter part of the 16 bits has been transferred to the parent node. All right. So the parent node's prefix length would become 16. This is the first thing. Now why we have made the daughter node as the zeroth child of the parent node? Because the bit at which the split happens is the zeroth bit. All right. So it means that the daughter node will become the zeroth node of the parent node. Then daughter node also borrows the data of the parent node. So whatever be the data pointer of the parent node was, the daughter node will borrow that data. All right. So the data pointer of the parent node would become null. And the third thing that the daughter node borrows from the parent node is the children of the parent node. So in this case, we did not have any children of the node number three before the node number three undergo a split. But if it had any children, all those children will be transferred to the daughter node. So we will see this procedure when we will going to split the node, which already had children in our subsequent example. So this was the story of the daughter node. The daughter node borrows three things from the parent node. The first is the bits from the effective prefix of the parent node. The second is the data of the parent node. And the third is the children of the parent node. All right. And obviously the prefix length of the parent node would get reduced after a split, depending on how many bits have been transferred to the daughter node. Then the second node is the niece node, which is very simple case. 
the niece node will borrow its the niece node will borrow its effective prefix bits from the effective prefix bits of the new of the new route right so from the point where the mismatch has happened we will going to copy the prefix bits of the new route as the prefix bits of the niece node and here since we are copying the 16 bits therefore the prefix length of the niece node is 16 and obviously the data part of the new route will be copied as it is as the data part of this niece node and obviously since the niece node is a new node all of its children points to null and why this niece node is made as a don't care children of its parent because the first bit of this niece node is a don't care so this is the procedure of splitting a node you can rewind this video and go through the explanation again to understand it better however we will going to insert few more routes in this tree and we will going to discuss this node split algorithm few more times again so the following points needs to be highlighted data of the parent node is transferred to the daughter node transfer of the effective prefix bits of the parent node to the daughter node and transfer all the children of the parent node to the daughter node all right so you can see that the daughter node is notorious in the sense that it takes away all the positions of its parent node which is undergoing a split remember that so the next slide shows that how does the mtri data structure looks after the insertion of the route 128200/16 this is the pictorial representation of the mtri data structure before the insertion of the route and this is the pictorial representation of the mtri data structure after the insertion of the route and you can see all the changes has happened in the node 3 and downwards the node 2 and 4 of this mtri data structure is untouched you can see the data part of the node 3 is null the prefix length of the node 3 has been reduced from 32 to 16 the bits from the effective prefix of the node 3 has been transferred to its daughter node and the niece nodes borrows its effective prefix bits from the bits of the route which is just inserted so now can you write the steps regarding how the node split algorithm can be written in simple plain english words can you do that let us do that in the next lecture video